Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this week's Clarity Soft training webinar. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2019. I'm Susan Arnold, Implementation Specialist here at Clarity Soft. And this week's topic is on record conversions within the Clarity Soft database. There are different ways within the database to convert records from one object or module to another so that your data transfers. So today we're going to concentrate on that and how to set it up, and discuss some of the details about it, and walk you through some scenarios with using those conversions. First of all, what is a conversion? A conversion is taking a record that you have and converting it to create a new record in a different object or module within the database. An example would be taking a lead record that you've been working with and when they are ready to move forward for you to create a sales opportunity, you can convert that lead record which will create actually three records in the process. It will create an account record for the company, a contact record for the person, and an opportunity record for the potential sale. So that's what a conversion is. Then you also can make a conversion of an opportunity to a quotation or an opportunity to a sale, a quote to an opportunity or a quote to a sale. So a lot of places within the database where you can make these different conversions. Also, if you are using the projects module, you can convert an opportunity, a quote, or a sale to a project within the database. And then the latest one that we can do now, if you are using a custom module, you can convert an opportunity, a quote, or a sale to a custom module and transfer data into the custom module. So the first thing you have to do is decide what is your flow of data going to be within the database? If you're starting in leads, that will be the first conversion that you'll make. After that, you need to decide, does your company use sales opportunities or do you pretty much go directly to quotations? And then a quote might go directly to a sale or a quote may turn into an opportunity. So you need to sit down and figure out what is the flow of data that you want throughout your database. Then depending upon that, you figure out, well, what are the custom fields? What data do we want to transfer from one module to the next so that it flows throughout the entire database as you're converting the records from one module to the next? And after we talk about that, then we'll go and do a sample starting with a lead all the way over to a sale record so you can see how the data flows. We're going to start in leads and in the leads module I have 13 leads here that I've marked as being working leads and I've set up two custom fields in the leads record, an industry type and a contact role. So if a record here, we're going to work with Moonstone Boutique today. And as I'm working with a lead, I would fill in the information and any custom fields that I put in here can then be transferred. The data can be transferred to the other modules during the conversion. So that is a design consideration, whether you're trying to decide to use the leads module or not, that might be a deciding factor that allows you to transfer that data. So I have a contact role custom field here with four options, and I have an industry type with a multi-select list. The third custom field that I have here is product interest. So very simple, product one, two, or three. So these are three custom fields that I have. I also have another one up here for territory. So I can gather this information in my lead record, and then I need to decide, well, where else do I want this information to go? For example, the industry type, I may want this to flow completely through all the other modules so that in opportunities, I can filter by industry type to see what opportunities are in what industry. 
I may want it in quotations, I may want it in sales. So I can take this field and have it go across the multiple modules. The contact role, well, that doesn't really apply anywhere except in the contact record. So I could add that custom field just in the contact record and have the data go there. It doesn't really need to go anywhere else in the database. So you get to decide where you want the information to go. And then the product interest is the same way. You may want it to flow throughout all the modules. You may only want it to go certain places. So you, you decide. So now I'm going to save and close my record here. And then we're gonna to go to our settings. Now, if you're not an admin user in the database, you won't be able to do this. So you'll have to grab the person who is your admin user and sit down and work with that person to do this customization. So where we're going is to the customization. And if I go to my leads module, I can see down here my industry type. And when I open it, here is my list. So what you want to do is create your field in the leads module, get your list as complete as possible. And then once you've done that, you can come here, select it. I'm copying it. And then I go to the modules where I want it to go. Now, I've already done some of these just to save some time. I've already put industry type in the accounts, and I've already put it in contacts, all right? And notice contact role is here. And I've already put it in opportunities. But I also want it to go to quotations. So I'm going to click here on custom fields. I do not see industry type in my list here. So I'm going to click the add button. The field name and the data type need to be the same. So make sure you jot down the fields, the name of the field, and the type, data type. And once I do this, I can paste my list, save. Then I can come back over here, go to my sales module. Again, it's not in the sales module, so I'm going to add it. Paste, save, and I'm also going to add it to my projects module because if I'm converting a sale or an opportunity or something to a project, I may want to know, well, what industry type does that project go with? So like I said, you just decide which fields you want and then which fields you want in the different modules. So I've now taken that industry type field from leads and I've copied it, duplicated it throughout the rest of the database. The contact role here, I have these four. And I can copy these. And then I did already do this, it appears here. So it is the same. So I've already done that, but I'm only putting that in the contacts record. I'm not putting it anywhere else in my database. Then I want to add the product a product level field, okay? So I wanna go to, I don't need it in leads because we're not doing any products yet in leads. We're not that far, 
But when we get to an opportunity, we would know a product level. So I've added it here, and it's just simple, ABC. So I've copied it. Now I want to go and I want to add it to my quotes. I do not have product level. Oh, I do have product level here. I added some of these things ahead of time to save time. So I did do it here. So I have added product level in opportunities, quotes and sales, but not anywhere else because it's not pertinent anywhere else. Again, if I wanted it in my projects, I could add it here, which I have done. So that has been added everywhere that I want it. And then the other place that I want it is in my custom module. And again, you may not have projects and you may not have custom modules. So, you know, if you don't, you don't. But here I've already added it here in the custom module. So my product level has been added everywhere that I want it. All right, now after you've added all the fields where you want them, the next step is to go to your user interface template and make sure all the fields that you've added are visible. So I believe my account template is okay, but we'll go check. And here's my industry type. And not to confuse it with business sector, I'm going to just move this out of the way for right now. So my industry type is here. And so that one is fine. Do a save. Go back. And just work my way down through all my modules and make sure that I'm viewing all the fields. Then the other thing I do want to mention, which I forgot to do in the other records, we have some new fields in the database now that allow you to track these conversion dates. You can start with a lead conversion date so that what you can do is in your different records, you can pull these dates in and then you can track the process through and how long it took you from the point when you first converted a lead to when you created a sale or a new project after a sale. So any of these can be pulled into your record. So I'm gonna pull this one in. I'll stick it here, this over here. So I can pull these in so that I can see them when Actually, if I'm converting to a project, perhaps after a sale, I could bring the sale conversion date over. And I'll drop back a bit here to go back to the opportunity record. And then the last one here is my custom module, which is called equipment. And I have, again, these IDs here. I already put the dates over here. So these will pull in. And I have the product level field is what I'm bringing into my custom module. And industry type is there. So let me save this. And then let me go back to my opportunity UI template. And the opportunity UI template, I have already placed the lead conversion date. So when I convert a lead to create the opportunity record, it will put the date that I do that conversion in here. So I will know then 
from the span of time from when I created a lead to converting it, I would know how long it took because inside the lead record, I have the lead conversion date and I have the created date. So you can begin to design some reports. And that's probably something we'll do in a future webinar of showing you how to create those kinds of reports so that you can begin to track your whole sales process. All right, so I've done all of that. And then after you do all these changes, you know you need to log out and log back in. So we've done all the setup. We've decided, I mean, I'm gonna use a basic flow through the database. I'm gonna start with a lead, convert it to an account and create an opportunity, convert the opportunity to quote, a quote to a sale and a sale to a project. And we'll, so we'll do that flow. So I'm gonna start in my leads. This is looking at the new leads. I want to change the filter to working. And the lead that's ready to move here is Moonstone Boutique. So what I would do is if when I'm ready to convert it, I just want to open the record and make sure I have filled in everything that can possibly be filled in. And the stage here is to qualify it. Again, your stages will be different. Your quality drop-down list will be different, perhaps, and you'll have different custom fields that fit your business. But I want to make sure that industry type is filled in. Product interest really isn't going anywhere, but I'll fill it in anyway. And the contact role is going somewhere, so I want to make sure that's filled in. Once I'm done checking everything, and all your activities that you've done will be listed here. They're gonna go with you. So I can come down here and I have two ways of doing this to convert. Probably the shortest and easiest way is to click on the save. That will save the data that you just updated and it will leave the record open for you so that you can immediately come up here to the upper right and click on the vertical ellipsis button and click on convert lead. If you do a save and close, that will return you out to the list. And then you might have to search depending on how many leads you have in your list. You might have to click in the quick search, type in Moonstone and find the record. This way you're already in the record and it's right here and you don't have to go anywhere else. So I'm gonna click here. It brings up this window to convert the lead to an account and contact. It's confirming the name of the account, which is the company name. If you know you have another Moonstone Boutique and it's in a different location, then you can type something in the site field to make this one different. Otherwise, this contact person will get added to the existing account and actually it'll pop up and tell you there is one already. This will create a contact record for Mace Hoops. It can be assigned to any user, so I'll give it to me. And then you create your opportunity. When you click apply, Clarity Soft is going to change the status of Moonstone Boutique to converted. So notice my filter is for working. So I no longer see Moonstone Boutique here. I would have to come up here and change to converted. And there it is. So once you've converted a lead, you're done with it. You do not come back here to work with it anymore. Over here, notice the conversion date has been put in of today. This record was created in December and it took me this long to convert it. I'm done with that. You know, if I wanted to go back to working with some more leads, I can, or now I move to accounts and I search for Moonstone. And there it is. Notice industry type came across, territory came across. Let's open the record. So all my information comes across that I had filled in in the record. The industry type was the custom field. 
the address information, here's the territory, and that was the only other thing that we put into the account record. All my activities came over that I had, and my contact person of MACE came over. So all the information is transferred across, and I have the opportunity now right here. And I can click on it to open the opportunity that ClaritySoft has created for me. Now, when it creates an opportunity, it will automatically put in a number for it. If you don't want to use that number, you'd rather put a name in, then you can just simply take the number out and type a name. And I'm just going to make up a crazy name. Okay, so you would type a name that means something to you. If it's about a particular project that you're doing or something like that, then you can put the project name there. Let's just call it Big Opportunity Project. This opportunity number is the conversion or ID number for the opportunity. I put it in here. You don't need it. Over here, the lead conversion date is here, and this is an ID. So this ID identifies that lead record um, being converted into this opportunity. So those you can use those fields any way that you want where you can search for them and that sort of thing. Notice these are all grayed out because these are all just filled in automatically. So now I can start to work my opportunity and I can say, well, this is new business and the sales stage. I'm at discovery and I territories here. Now here's product level. I didn't have product level in my lead record because I wasn't at that level of discussion yet. But here, now that I'm talking to them, they're at level B. Industry type is already there. I can say they have 10 users and start to work my opportunity because now I can add activities. I can add products and services. I'm going to go down and click save and then I can go to products and services here and add the products. So they have this one and this one. Put in a quantity of 50, quantity of 25. Okay. And when I go back to my details, now my amount field is filled in because it takes the total from the products and services. If you have entered into your product list in ClaritySoft the cost, then when you select a product, the cost will automatically pull in. That would be your cost. If you haven't put anything in, then that will just be zero. Doesn't matter if you use it or not. That's up to you. Again, it depends on your business, whether you would have a cost or not. And this field can be removed from view. Let's say I'm going to anticipate my close date is next week. So you want to fill your opportunity in again fill in all the fields, you're going to create activities, save activities until you reach the stage where they're ready for a quote. So I can create, go to that stage. Again, I have the record open. So it's just as easy for me to, at this point while it's open, click Save. And then just like in the opportunity or in the lead, I can go to this vertical ellipsis button and notice what I can do. I can convert to a quote, convert to a sale, go to a custom module or go to a project. So depending again on the flow that you have set up for yourself or want to use, you can go anywhere. So I'm gonna go to a quotation pops up and confirms that this is what I'm going to do. And then if you'll notice, I will have, if I go back to my 
account record. So now I would do save and close. And under my account record, I now see this quote. Now let's say that we do the, we create the quote, but we want to go to the quotations module. So I can come over here and I will see my quote right here. Again, filters at the top, active quotes are the ones that you're currently working on. You can see all quotes, accepted quotes, lost and rejected. Active is the default. And then you can open your quote record here. And then Clarity Soft will have the information. It generates, uh, auto generates a quote number. If you want to change it, you may. The description field is the name of the opportunity. Notice that that's what came across, big opportunity project. The address information pulls in. Industry type is here. Product level came from the opportunity record. Territory came from the lead record on across and my status currently is active. Terms you can add in your settings, your payment terms. The price has come across as the subtotal because the products and services have come over that you entered into your opportunity record. So all that data comes across for you in that conversion process. You don't have to do anything. If you charge tax, then you can add your tax rate. It will calculate it if you want to put shipping and handling. Then you can put that in. If you don't, you leave them blank. But all your information is here. And again, I brought in the lead conversion date is today. The opportunity conversion date is today, but it may not be if it's in real life, might be two, three, four weeks, it might be six months after you converted the lead. So it allows you to see, well, how long did it take us from the time we converted the lead to the time we created this quote? So again, the ability to get some statistics for yourself. So I have this. Now this time I'm going to do a save and close to show you the other way to convert a record. So let's say my quote has been accepted, which means let's do this. Let's follow the rules here. I'm going to change my status from active to accepted. Do a save and close. And oops, my record disappeared. That's because it's no longer active. It is accepted. So don't panic when these things seem to go away. There it is. And this time I'm ready to convert this to a sale. So like before, I could have done it in the open record, but I wanted to show you the other way. You come here to the row action button and you can see convert to opportunity, sale, custom module, or project. Well, I'm gonna go to sale. I get the same type of window, convert to sales, click convert. Confirm. So now I have my quote has been accepted. So I've won the quote and now I've done a sale. And when I get here, again, filters at the top. This says this month. So that kind of keeps your list clean. But you could do this quarter, this week, whatever you want to do. And here's my sale. So now I have my sale. All of my data has come across. Territory, industry type, product level, all came across because that's the way I set it up. And then again, I have my original lead conversion date. I have my opportunity conversion. I have my quote conversion. Now you may decide not to have all of these dates in the record. You may want to just have the, if you're converting from a quote to a sale, you may just want the quote conversion date here. 
and perhaps lead. You don't need everything else in between. So I'm just, I just put them all in so you would see how this works. You can decide on that. Sometimes it's a little bit of overload over here on how many dates you have to look at. But my products are here. And from here, if I was going to create an invoice, if you did invoices from ClaritySoft, then you could send an invoice. If you export out and take your sales over to your accounting system, then that's what you would do at this point. Now, within ClaritySoft, if you're using the projects module, you can take an opportunity, a quote, or a sale and convert it to a project. You can, again, make sure everything's filled out, which by this time it should be, and then I can select convert to a project. So I have done that. Now I can go to projects module and there it is. So here's my project has come across. The product level came across because that's what I wanted. It started in opportunities and has come across. And the industry type came all the way from the leads record originally. And, or the product level came from opportunities. And the territory field came all the way from the lead record as well. So you can see that depending on how you set up those custom fields, that that data can flow each time you convert. That's the pr purpose of the conversion, is to be able to send that data over and create a new record and bring that data across so you're not having to fill it in. It is transferred automatically. And then again, in project module, you do see your products and services. So the person doing the project, you also see activities that you create in here. And with a project, you can create what's called an action plan, and it automatically throws these activities in for you and schedules them according to what you set up in the action plan, which is another topic. <laughs> That's your data flow going from module to module to module. The last one to show you is to a custom module where you might have a custom module that's tracking certain pieces of information. If I go to accounts and I have my Moonstone, I can open and go to the sale. And then on this row action button, see convert to project, convert to custom module. So the conversion is in different locations, depending again on how you work you can go to different locations to do it. And so if I now take this and convert to a custom module, it lets me pick the custom module. There's only one in here. And then I convert it. Notice the messages are the same. And if I go to my equipment tab, there's my record. Yeah, see, my product level came across. And if I edit this, my industry type, and my product level came into the custom module. You can see how that would work. Now, if I try to save this, it's going to give me a message that I have to fill in the purchase date. That's a required field here. See, if I try to do that, purchase date cannot be blank. So I have to fill in something here. And then I can choose what product it is, what model it is, so on and so forth. And these are custom fields. So when you create a custom module, you get to add the custom fields that you want in the module. Again, you're going to see your conversion dates here if you add them. So if you don't have custom modules and you have a need for another one-to-many type of relationship, like this one is designed to track equipment that people have installed. So maybe if you install large equipment or you sell copiers or things like that or lease them, you can track the equipment that your customers have on site. And you can have their serial numbers and the date they 
purchase them and all of that information you can create in the custom module. So those are record conversions and moving starting from leads to accounts, contacts, opportunities, to quotes, to sales, to projects, to custom modules. So converting throughout the database, again, when you are in some of the different modules, you can go different directions depending on your process, your sales process, because I can take an opportunity to a quote, to a sale, to a custom module, or to a project. You may not use certain things. You might not use quotes, so you could go directly to a sale, or you might not use sales, so you can go somewhere else. So again, decide on the process you want to follow. Decide upon the custom fields and which modules you want them in, because you have your choice. And then you set up those custom fields in your different modules and start to enter your data and, your, and convert your records and your data will flow. And that's all I have for today. So first of all, thank you for attending. And if you need help with anything, you can either call our support team at 888-838-7487, extension two, or email them at support at claritysoft.com. Or if you are in the midst of your onboarding quick start process, then you'd either contact Linda or myself, and we will help you with this kind of setup. And then future topics, we're again, as I've said, we're trying to branch out on our different topics and create a good library of webinars for you to use as a resource. So please give us ideas for topics and critiques at info at claritysoft.com. So I thank you all for attending. Go and have a wonderful rest of the day and hopefully we'll see you next week.